Hey guys, welcome to another session of RBTL. We're gonna really quickly do a, a key say kind of talk um, for newer players or you know even even older players, but you don't have key say. You know, I just wanted to talk about herself, her kit, her stats, uh, where I see her used, and you know whether or not you should be pulling for her. Um, in my opinion, I think that she's actually really good. But then now, uh, up to this point, we have. Um, we have a released on a Sigret uh, getting a buff. So Sigret is a warrior, also ice, but also a single target damage dealer. Whereas Kise does um, kind of like, you know, does really well in the single target nuking realm. Um, she does also have a really strong AoE attack, um, you know, pending some circumstances. So if you have Sigret, if you have, let's say you, you played uh, longer, you have Luna as a limited hero, um, you have other good single target damage dealers. Um, do you have to pull for Kise? I don't. I don't think so. Honestly, I think there's a lot of damage dealers to uh, to really benefit from. But Kise, I do believe that she has a, a pretty impressive kit in in general. Um, she's really good at Wyvern Eleven. She's really good. Uh, before Luna was released, I used her for Wyvern Eleven as my like one of my sole damage dealers. I I ran her with Karin. Though Karin was ma mainly built as just a defense breaker, um, but Kise was like built built to take on Wyvern. Um, she's really good in uh, in Arena, uh, Arena and GVG, mainly I would say on the attacking side. Um, if you put her on a defense, she would have to have like a, over 200 speed, I would say. But on attacking side, if you guys watched like my recent GVG videos, I actually ran Kise in there, not because I just wanted to like, you know, you know, I was bored of Luna or something, because but she fit a certain team comp that would take out the enemy team comp better than Luna would because she has again has like AOE aspects to her kit um, being able to stealth herself is really important too like if you were trying to like lower the amount of targets on your team as well um, so if you take a look uh, really quickly at her skills here S1 uh, does an increased damage of 70% if the target has a barrier up um, it does a lot of damage um, if Kral after he does his S3 even though really after his S3 he's not really much of a threat and Yukise is alive, he puts a barrier up on himself. Um, Cecilia meta is pretty good for her, I suppose, but I've never actually ran her against that fallen Cecilia meta. Um, just because the, the teams that are stacked with her are usually super annoying, that Kise wouldn't be able to survive the onslaught. Um, I'll talk about that in a bit. But uh, for, uh, you know, DN, when DN meta was, uh, was, was quite huge, and Angelica, of course, is still being used, um, Kise really comes in handy. Now, she if she's built, you know, really well, she is one of the strongest damage dealers. Very early on, when Luna was about to be released, there was uh, someone on Reddit that posted uh, just like damage comparison between Sigret, the old Sigret, by the way, old Sigret, um, Kise, Luna, I think even Commander Lorena and Sez. I think they were the ones that were like being compared to. And Kise, even though she's a thief, she had comparable damage to Luna, while not over time though. So like like the first initial couple of turns, Kise has like just as much damage output as Luna does, um, without counting Luna's defense uh, defense break, of course, her self defense break. Um, but with a seventy percent uh, barrier, some people run her with like Dust Devil. If you're doing Wyvern farming on auto, lock her only to her S one. So if the Wyvern Wyvern does uh, does go into the barrier phase, um, you know her S one cuts cuts deep, cuts really deep. Seventy percent ex ex seventy uh, percent damage increase, which is really good. And then with a Dust Devil proccing on his barrier, that just like eats through his barrier really really quickly. Uh, I talk about the S3 first and, and into the S2 because it kind of the rotation kind of worked that way. So the S3 has a lower up uh, up to a four turn cooldown pretty quick. Leaps a uh, single target, increases the cooldowns by two turns. Um, so you would need some effectiveness on her for that to actually work. Uh, it does come in handy though, uh, if if it, especially if it lands, it comes in like it comes in handy for sure in. Uh, uh, GVG fights, um, like I said, an arena fight comes in handy, and then of course it grants stealth to the castle for two turns. Now, of course, if they have immunity up, you wouldn't be able to increase that skill cooldown. If you have lower uh, effectiveness, and then they get lucky effect resistance, um, of course you can't lower it. But uh, uh, the one aspect I do like about it is that it grants her stealth. So sometimes if um if I'm trying to bait an opponent, I'm using her on an attacking team, baiting an opponent, and I have let's say two two ice heroes. 
generally my my Kisei at least is, is decently squishy um, and I want to save her from being like you know attacked by, by like C Armin or like by Krau you know just continuous provokes and stuff you put her into stealth so she's hidden so I can get her heals back up um, her damage dealt on this is proportional to her current health so the higher health she has the more damage she'll do um, so if she has a 100% health, obviously she does the max damage. Her skill mod for S3 is 1.6 times. Very, very high. That's as high as a, uh, Sid's S3. Um, the Soul Burn obviously is only onto the S, S1. Uh, the S1 has a 1.1 times up to 1.4 times damage mod if you Soul Burn it. Now keep that in mind, if it's a 1.4 times damage mod with the 70% damage dealt increase if they have a barrier up, that's a lot of damage. It's extremely, it's a lot of damage. 1.6 times on the S3 isn't terrible at all. Um, very, very good nuke. I think that is higher than Luna's S3. I think that's higher than Luna's S3. I think Luna's S3 is a 1.5 times. Um, but then Luna does usually does more damage just because of her uh, S2 passive uh, in general. Um, her S, uh, S2 has the uh, lowest of the three turn cooldown. So you can molo that as well and attacks all enemies with the sight. So there's AOE and it penetrates the defense by 60% if she's stealth. So usually the rotation, if you don't have something like, let's say, Wind Rider uh, on her, um, usually the rotation would be S3 and then enter the S2 um, because you you kind of want that, that defense penetration, the 60% there. So very, very uh, good utility hero. Her main stats are actually really impressive as well. For a thief, she has really high attack, really high health. Um, she has uh, uh, 1,283 attack, 5,138 health. Speed is 116. It's not slow at all either. Um, defense, of course, is a thief, so 522, not that impressive. She has an innate 23% critical hit chance, which is a very, very nice to have on a damage dealer, of course. Any bit of crit chance would be good here. Uh, was Kisei's damage against the barrier still around the same as Luna with a defense break? Um, if you soul burn it, it's, oh, it's similar, Midnight. But if Luna procs her S1, the, the, the multi-hit one, like the, the, the biggest hit one, then no, no, really nothing really beats her. Luna, Luna, like the reason why Luna is so much stronger is really because of her S2 passive though. Um, because you can lower so much critical hit chance for crit damage. And on top of that, a 30, up to a 30% increase in the Luna's um, uh, attack. Uh, it's like she, you're usually looking at Luna like w like way past like well past like 4,000 attack uh, realistically with the passive up whereas like Kisei you know she's gonna be she's gonna be looking for for stats everywhere um, you need effectiveness you need attack you need critical hit chance you need critical hit damage most people build her speedy I built mine as a nuker so mine is as slow as my Luna I think about like 135 136 speed very very slow Mine's running on a destruction set. People run her on a, uh, and I would actually say a, a cheap destruction set. She has hand me downs. Um, she could use some upgrades, but she has about three thousand three hundred attack, uh, two hundred forty eight ish percent crit damage. So in terms of like output damage, she she's almost comparable with Luna. If only if Luna didn't have her S two passive though. That's the thing. Um, so like I said, I mean, if you don't have Luna, you're a newer player, and you don't have a single target damage dealer, Kisei is one of the best damage dealers. Keep in mind that she's also an ice hero, so very good for the meta. But if you do have Cigarette right now, if you have Cigarette, and uh, we just got uh, you know confirmation on her buffs uh, coming with the patch, if you have Cigarette, I would say if you want to pull for Kisei for the utility, only pull a bit. Um, because I think that Cigarette is going to be like the strongest single target damage dealer um, going down the line, even stronger than Luna in a lot of cases, um, as long as you can get the debuffs up. But anyways, I, that's what that's what my thoughts is um, for Kisei here. So I think I'm just going to end this one. Not much else to talk about. Um, she can use uh, RNL. RNL is really good on her. I've been killed by her so many times in GVG because of a lucky RNL proc on the defense team. Um, Dust Devil, like I said, I would say Dust Devil mainly used only for Wyvern hunts though. Um, I, I would say that it's not that beneficial. 
uh, Aliha's knife is okay, but I would say Portrait of Saviors or even uh, Exorcist Tonfa might be really good for her if you're going for that one-shot nuke. Um, so Exorcist Tonfa and Portrait of Saviors does an increased amount of damage if the target HP is above 50%. So that's something to keep in mind. As for sets, I've seen people run her with Abyss set um, or the Lifesteal set just because you want to keep her health pretty high uh, for her S3, but I would say it's almost a wasted potential. Speed set generally, I think very, very uh, handy on her. Attack set can work as well if you can combo that with high critical hit damage. And of course, destruction set is easy if you really want to fish for that critical hit damage. And like I said, um, you know she she will she will need a, like a bunch of stats: speed, HP, um, HP not as relevant because she usually keeps herself in stealth. So I wouldn't chase after HP, but effectiveness for sure: critical hit damage, attack, critical hit chance, um, and speed. I think those are her main major uh, major stats to go for. So, anyways, that's the that's my thoughts on uh, Kise here. I'm gonna end this one. Uh, here so if you guys have discord check out the discord server follow me on twitter and subscribe to youtube if you haven't as always thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time